We have an extra special treat today on The Dish. Chef Eric Repair is here. Eric is executive chef and co-owner of Le Bernardin, one of New York's very best restaurants since it opened in 1986 and holder of the coveted Michelin three-star rating. Critics have called Le Bernardin irreplaceable and without compare, and Chef Eric Repair has been named Outstanding Chef of the Year by the James Beard Foundation. So we are more than delighted to welcome Chef Eric Repair this morning. And as we've been saying, happy birthday, because it's your birthday Thank today you as much. well. Cheers. Thank happy you birthday. very much. Really Thanks. Um, Cheers. I'm 25 again. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to have you. Thank you. I had to take a sip, otherwise it would be bad luck. But I want to ask, what have you brought for us outside of this delicious wine? Well, we have coco vin, uh, pasta with truffles, some winter vegetables, and an apple tart and mushroom. And coco vin is a, it's a dish that my mom used to do at home on weekend, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it's a dish that I still do for the family uh, very often uh, on the weekend when I am home. And, uh, why, was it, why was it a big fa weekend family meal, do you think? Well, because in France it's a tradition to gather uh, mm -hmm. around the table with the uncles and cousins and everybody else mm -hmm. and grandma, grandpa. And uh, you, you always have a dish that brings people together, something very mm -hmm. homey and, and very tasty. And, and coco vin really is uh, it's typical of France to have, you know, a rooster that you find somewhere, <laughs> somewhere you shoot him. Um, pluck him, <laughs> cook him in red wine for a few minutes, for a few hours, mm -hmm. and then you know you gather around the table and celebrate. Is there a secret to a great coco vin? Uh, to have an old rooster. <laughs> to have an old rooster. <laughs> an old rooster. <laughs> <laughs> Which is difficult to find today. <laughs> you were a young rooster when you got interested in this profession. You were 15 years old. Yes. How did you know at 15 this is what your calling would I had, be? I had passion for eating all my life. Mm -hmm. From age four or five, I was always in a kitchen with right. grandma, my aunts, my mother. And uh, uh, I was very passionate about good food. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that if I would go to cul culinary school or become a chef, I would have to work so hard. Right. <laughs> I went in the kitchen because I wanted to eat. Right. And then I discovered that it's hard work. Mm. Right. So what made you want to open a restaurant? Uh, I had a passion uh, for feeding people. I had a passion for cooking, for the art of cooking. And, uh, and therefore, after culinary school, obviously, I work in restaurant and mm. learn the craft. Right. Uh, and, and today I am at Le Bernardin with a great team that allow us to have fun and create and, you know, do great food. And you also do great work through City Harvest, your yes. other big passion. Tell us about yes. that. So City Harvest is an amazing organization that, that is dedicated to feed hungry people in New York. And it's more than one million people that don't know when they're going to have their next meal in New York. One child out of four doesn't know when is the next meal. Mm. Uh, City Harvest basically brings fresh food to 400 shelters in, in the entire city. Food that is perfectly fresh, like this, this food here, that mm -hmm. is not served in restaurants, grocery stores, supermarkets, and so on. And uh, they deliver it to people. That food will go to waste. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, I love the, the logic and, and the idea of City Harvest of taking in a city of New York where we have such a big contrast in between the rich and the poor, sure. um, uh, feeding poor people or, or people who are in need. It's, it's, it's a basic and, and, and I think it's a, it's a must to help City Harvest. Mm -hmm. I don't see my life without helping and being in the food industry on top of it. That's a great goal. Uh, you've won, and your restaurant as well, you've won so many awards over the years. Um, is there one particular one that, that really meant the most to you? You know, we celebrate all the awards. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, each time we have something, we celebrate it. It's a motivation for the team. Right. Uh, it's fun. And we don't take any award for granted. Right. But every morning when I go to work, I don't think about the awards. I think about what I'm supposed to do and, and the team is supposed to do every day. Right. Uh, to do a good job. Mm -hmm. That's what we think about. This. It's not easy staying on top in the restaurant world in New York, but no. you've done it. No, but we don't think like that. We think about cooking the best. Well, thank you for cooking the best for us on The oh, Dish here on CBS This Morning Saturday. Eric, would you mind sure. signing our dish for us, please? I don't mind at all. It's an honor. Let me do like that. That's, my, that's supposed to be an R. That's the R. <laughs> Sheriff Eric Repair, thank you so much for being with us.